Good morning. <laughs> uh, welcome to the First Unitarian Church of Pittsburgh. Today is Sunday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, my name is Robert. I'm the liturgist today. Um, I am a 35-year-old white cisgender male with reddish, brownish, blondish hair. I'm not sure what's going on up there. Uh, I have a mustache, glasses, and I'm wearing a multi-green patchwork sweater. Um, our minister, Reverend Kate Walker, is in the house today, uh, but uh, she is not leading worship service. Uh, instead, with us today are two special guest speaker presenters, uh, Miguel Sage Jr. and Miguel Cha uh, Sage III, uh, whose biographies I will read in a few minutes. Oh, there we go. You are welcome here. If you are watching now or in the future, you are welcome. If you're a longtime member or brand new, you are welcome here. We Unitarian Universalists are one people of many beliefs, many origins, sexualities, and genders. We are a multi-faith religious community where all are welcome, diversity is celebrated, and questions expected. We are all growing, all learning, all loved. Just as you are, you are welcome. If this is your first time with us, we would love to be in touch with you. If you have not already done so, please go to our welcome desk in the atrium, or if you're on YouTube, visit our website, just Google First Unitarian of Pittsburgh, and sign up for our weekly newsletter, which is found at the bottom of the page. You are also invited to join us for social time on Zoom following this live worship. To get a Zoom link, please send an email to firstunitarianpittsburgh at gmail.com. I have been asked to read two announcements. Um, the first, if you are newer to First Church, you may not have heard about our music series called Song Space. Song Space at First Unitarian is a celebration of folk, Americana, bluegrass, singer-songwriter, old time, and world music featuring local, regional, and national artists. Song Space has been facilitating uh, amazing concerts right here in our sanctuary for almost 15 years. Saturday, March 23rd is the next concert, which brings together four of the freshest singer-songwriter voices in Pittsburgh. Liz McBride will share music and conversation with Lenny Green, Louis Castile, and Ola Whitetail. This cannot be missed. Now, if you love music, the Song Space Committee is in need of volunteers to help find artists and put on shows, uh, as they are now a committee of one. Um, please reach out to Brian or Stephanie if you are interested. You can also Google Song Space First Unitarian, uh, where you will be able to find information on how to connect with Brian. Uh, the second announcement uh, is also music related. Uh, today is our last day with Chris uh, before he takes a well-deserved sabbatical. Um, let's send him off with best wishes for a relaxing and fulfilling break, and we will see him again in August. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, we have two guest speakers. Uh, two guest speaker presenters with us today, and I've been asked to briefly share their biographies with you. Uh, so first, we have Miguel uh, Sage Jr. Uh, he is a visual artist, singer-songwriter, author, anthropologist, and historian. He was born in Cuba and has lived most of his life right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, with his wife and son. Grounded in his Taino ancestral roots, Miguel is the founder and Benique of the Kane Indigenous Spiritual Circle and serves on the board of directors of the Council of Three, River, Three Rivers American Indian Center. His work has been featured in an exhibit of Taino history, culture, and language at the Smithsonian Institution. Miguel Cha Sage III is a drummer, singer, dancer, band leader, and composer. He leads the Latin dance band Guarucha, founded by his father. 
Cha has performed all over the city as well as touring throughout the United States, the Caribbean, and Central America. He has also worked as an arts instructor at both public and private schools here in Pittsburgh. So now I'd like to invite you to take a deep breath, arrive body and spirit, and picture yourself connected to all others who are watching today and in the future. And at this time, I'd like to invite Cha to please come forward to present a land acknowledgement. We recognize that the work that we carry out here is being done on ancestral land of the Seneca people, one of the five original nations that composed the League of the Haudenosaunee, Iroquois Longhouse Confederacy, who were later joined by refugees of other tribes, including the Delaware and the Shawnee, driven here from their homelands by colonizers. Eventually, all of these people were driven from our region, a process that ultimately culminated with the final extinguishing of the last Pennsylvania Seneca reservation on the Allegheny River, Corn Planters Grant, and the expulsion of that community's residents to New York State in 1965. We acknowledge our responsibility to recognize these historical injustices and to do all we can to bring about justice and reconciliation. In your order of service, please find words by Jim Pathfinder Ewing. Let us speak them together as we light our chalice. O Creator, Earth Mother, Heavenly Father, and all good spirits, we thank you for allowing us to have ceremony and be here with you today. We thank you, Creator, for providing power and light and healing. We thank you, Earth Mother, for providing the food we eat, the air we breathe, all things we need for life. Ancestors and good spirits, we thank you for watching over us, informing us, and helping us act in a good way for all beings. Amen. At this time, we are going to invoke the presence and power of the four directions. This is a traditional Taino uh, ceremony, invocation, um, that Miguel is going to lead us through. We will, uh, we will invoke the south, the west, the north, and the east. Each direction has its own properties and uh, powers that we call upon, and each has its own spirit animal, which I'm going to ask Miguel to uh, tell us, what are the four spirit animals of the... Four spirit birds. The turkey in the south, the owl in the west, the hummingbird in the north, and the hawk in the east. All right, so at this time I'm going to invite you to stand. And there are a few words, Taino words, that I am going to teach you uh, as part of this invocation. So... Uh, welcoming the power into the temple of Mother Earth. Um, I ah, I ah, Kane, Kane, Ata, Ata, I ah, Kane, Ata, I ah, Kane, Ata. Good, and then welcoming in the power to the to the temple of Father Sky is I ah. I am Kane Baba. Kane Baba. I am Kane Baba. I am Kane Baba. Good. So uh, Miguel will give us a call and you respond to the call with those words. I am Kane Ata. 
Ayakane Baba. So I'll be saying Temple of the Mother, Temple of the Mother, and then you'll say Aya Temple of the Mother. I'll say Kaneyata Kaneyata Aya Kaneyata Kane Baba Kane Baba Aya Kane Baba. And then I'll start the words to uh, honor the spirit of the South, Achan. Go what ego Achanuai. Aya Kane Baba. Go what ego Guanahuai. Aya Kane Baba. And that happens four times with a different direction. First, Achano, the spirit of the south, and Guanajo, the turkey. Then, Koromo, the spirit of the west, and Mukam, the owl. And then, Rakuno, the spirit of the north, and then Colibri, the hummingbird. And then finally, Sobaiko, the spirit of the east, and then Paraguay, the hawk. All right? The living tradition of Unitarian Universalism draws from many sources. Uh, you can find in your order of service, we will uh, name three of those sources together. Direct experience of that transcending mystery and wonder affirmed in all cultures, which moves us to a renewal of the spirit and an openness to the forces that create and uphold life. Words and deeds of prophetic persons which challenge us to confront powers and structures of evil with justice, compassion, and the transforming power of love. Wisdom from the world's religions, which inspire us in our ethical and spiritual life. So even if you're out there in a spaceship far away from the planet, she's still with you because she's Mother Nature. She's all that's female in the universe. But here, for us humans who walk on the surface of this planet, she is represented by Mother Earth. So the next song that we're going to offer is dedicated to her, Atabe. Just a couple other tiny note words, and 
we've done this in our service before, so I, I fully expect it's going to sound really, really great. Uh, these words repeat after me. Taino, Taino, T, T, Waki, Waki, Ata. And if you're a visual learner, the, the words are printed in your order of service. So it's Taino T, Taino T, Waki Ata, Waki Ata, Taino T, Waki Ata, Taino T, Waki Ata, Taino T, Waki Ata. Again, it's Taino Ti Waki Ata. Taino Ti Waki Ata. Taino Ti Waki Ata. Taino Ti Waki Ata. Put it together and Taino Ti Waki Ata. Taino Ti Waki. Again, Taino Ti Waki Ata. Taino Ti Waki Ata. Pretty good. So as we go along, sing that out more and more. Would you please stand and let's sing this praise to Mother Earth. It means high honors to you, our mother. That's what it means. Yokahu, it gets its name from a plant. Uh, the main food plant of the Taino people was a root, a tuber plant that kind of reminds some people of the potato, but we don't think of it as a potato because it's so different. It's called yuca. And from that word yuca comes a lot of words that you may uh, unconsciously be acquainted with. We, it, it's in different parts of South America and the Caribbean, it's called yuca or mand yuca or manioc. It's shortened to manioc from manuka and tapioca. That is something that comes from that plant, tapioca. So all of these are the words. And that's where he gets his name. His name is yokahu, the soul of the yuca plant. And why? Because we associate this entity, the spirit of life, with a plant that provides the people with its most important source of carbohydrates. Just like bread for Middle Eastern people and for European people, that's our bread. That's our source of life. So Yokahu, the spirit of life, is life itself. 
So we honor Yokahu as the child of Atabe because everything is born of the womb of Cosmic Mother. So Yokahu is also born of her. And we, uh, we identify with Yokahu because we're also living things, just like him. He has a life cycle. He's born in the spring, rises to full maturity at, at the summer solstice, dies in the fall, goes back to the womb of his mother in the winter solstice, and then is reborn again now at spring equinox. So we're celebrating his rebirth. So uh, Miguel is going to lead the choir in singing uh, the song he wrote in honor of Yokahu. <laughs> We hold each other in our hearts and minds with all our joys and all our sorrows. We remember those who are experiencing losses of various kinds and those facing health challenges. We are aware that many are faced with heightened difficulties presented by these times that continue to be challenging for all. May those who suffer or mourn find peace. May those who hunger or thirst be quenched with nourishment and sated with the elixir of life. May those who have experienced violence find care and comfort and the healing that comes in time. May all of us find the loving kindness that is ours to share. 
May we open our hearts and minds to be encircled with love and care all in our community and beyond. So may it be. Amen. Namaste. Blessed be. You are now invited into a few moments of silence, personal meditation, and prayer. There are so many sorrows in our hearts today. Daily, we experience losses, maybe not our own personal losses, but we are inundated by graphic images and media so that we feel the weight and unfairness of inequalities, the strains of war, the unimaginable journey for those who no longer have a home or a homeland to return to. We are reminded to be compassionate with ourselves and with others as we fight for justice and equity. We need one another, for what, is, for what is it to celebrate a joy without seeing the smile and twinkle in the eye of a friend? And hear the words, happy birthday, or look at that sweet face when admiring a new child. Our joys shared are doubled. When we have grief or have a heavy heart and a friend hears us without interrupting, they sit with us in our pain their willingness to listen and stay present with us is a gift. This is beloved community. A sorrow shared is a sorrow halved. Let us nurture one another in the ways that we can. Let us stay in this moment of connection with the Spirit the spirit of the north and the south and the east and the west, the spirit that includes all genders and that is beyond gender. Let us connect to that spirit as we sing the words in your order of service, the spirit of life. Every month, we share our generosity with a designated organization. This month, it is the Unitarian School in India that we have partnered with for over 20 years. All donations are shared 50-50 with this organization unless otherwise designated. Our religious community is made up of volunteers and staff creating and hosting a variety of programming. We rely on your financial support. In addition to the collection plate, you can donate by texting GIVE to 412-435-1050 and following the directions. Please check the end of the order of service for more directions. And I invite the ushers to come up at this time.
So in our understanding of the, uh, the supreme deity, the supreme divinity of the Taino people, this divinity actually encompasses both of those divine elements that I described earlier, the, male, the female Atabe and the male Yokahu. Together, they form an entity called Yaya. Yaya is the repetition of the word Ya. Ya means soul. So when you repeat it, you magnify it, the supreme soul. Yaya is the supreme soul. All femaleness and all maleness functioning together. In our cycle of, in our ceremonial cycle of the Tainos, we honor Atabe, the cosmic matriarch, on the equinoxes. So today we're honoring her. Because of her fertility, she's going to bring forth life. We honor Yokahu, the Lord of Light, during the solstices, summer and winter, because those are the times that he manifests the two extremes of his life cycle. The extreme of the summer, the longest day of the year, and the extreme of winter. After he has passed away in the fall, he returns to the womb of his mother, and that's the shortest day of the year. So this is the this, uh, unification of those two elements, the male and the female, in the Taino tradition, Yaya. Well, and this is uh, also uh, embodies this concept which you find expressed in many indigenous cultures of two-spirit individuals, people who, um, who cross gender in how, they, in how they live or contain both genders, um, who, who have a non-sex heterosexual orientation sometimes. We consider those people godlike. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, so, um, we are going to take a moment to, uh, to again reflect and connect to that spirit with a familiar song. I'm gonna invite, I'm gonna invite everyone to stand. I'm gonna invite the choir to come down um, and ask the sopranos and altos to stand in this, this aisle the tenors and basses to stand in this aisle. And I invite everyone to stand as we sing, I know this rose will open. Is Mary still in the house, Mary Dennison? So I invite you, um, folks on this side, or folks in the house, uh, face to the center. Face to the center. Yes. And we will sing, uh, I know this rose will open twice. Um, sorry, three times. Once all together in unison, and then twice as a round. Mary's going to play it for us once. Oh, uh, what number is it again? Everyone take a nice deep breath. Connect to that spirit as we get ready. together. I know this rose will open. I know my fear will burn away. I know my soul will unfurl its wings. I know this rose will open. East side. I know this West side. I know this rose
Thank you. You may be seated. In the tradition of the indigenous people of the Caribbean, and in the tradition of many Central American indigenous people of the mainland, uh, Mexico, the Mayas of Guatemala, the snake is not a bad thing. It's a sacred animal. So we actually, the ancient Mayas, uh, believed in a goddess called Ischel, who wore a snake headdress. And the Aztecs believed in Tonantzin, the mother of all things, who wore a skirt made out of snakes. The snake is always associated with Mother Earth, and we honor Mother Earth by doing a snake dance, a dance in which the women form themselves into a serpent and actually navigate through the ceremony in the form of a long serpent, all lined up like a choo-choo train, all behind, one behind the other. And in that way, they bless us, the rest of the community, especially us, the men. So we're going to be heading in that direction now. Wonderful. And before we undertake the snake dance ceremony, which you are all invited to participate in, um, we're going to learn the music that goes along with it. It's a familiar song to many of you, I'm sure. The words are in your order of service. I think you'll pick up on the words pretty quickly, so uh, uh, you know you can glance down at them if they need. But I hope that you, you know, you. You keep your attention up and pay attention to the energy and activity that's happening in the room. But let's sing this first together. I'll sing the beginning. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. Can you sing that? The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. Good. And then we do the same thing, except it's a little different at the end. Sounds like this. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. Try that one. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. Good. And then we sing. Hey, younger, ho, younger, hey, young, young. Try it. Hey, younger, ho, Good. Again. And. Hey, younger, ho, younger, hey, young. And then we sing, the sky is our father. We must take care of him. Go. The sky is our father. We must Again. The sky is our father. We must take care of him. Hey, younger. Hey, younger, ho, younger, hey, young, young. Hey, younger, ho, younger, hey, young. The sea is our ancestor. The sea is our ancestor. We must take care of them. The sea is our ancestor. We must take care of them. Hey, younger. Hey, younger, ho, younger, hey, young, young. Hey, younger, ho, younger, hey. The forest is our cousin. The forest is our cousin. We must take care of them. The chorus is our cousin. We must take care of them. And then we do Hey Younger again, yes? Easy. Just follow along. If you forget the words, it's all right. You'll, you know, you'll hear them and join back in when, when you can. So now we're going to do the ceremony. So I'm going to ask Simone and the women of the choir to come lead. I'm going to ask everyone in the congregation to please stand. So, um, um, so there, are, there are male and female roles in this ceremony. Two-spirited folk, queer folk, non-binary folk, you are, are invited to please partake of whichever role feels good to you this moment. So um, I'm going to ask the women to line up here um, behind the women of the choir. Um, the men, you are going to stay in place. And uh, you are 
the, the women will, yes, yeah, so the women move to the center aisle. You're going to form a line which will become the snake in our ceremony. And Simone is going to lead the group around the group of women around the, the men in the congregation. And then we will finish. Unfortunately, um, normally this would end where all the women would face paint all the men. But, but uh, we're, we're going to abbreviate that today. And uh, the, the choir women are going to face paint the choir men. And you can, you can enjoy looking at that. So. But, um, so yes, we have a nice long snake here, yes. And I, and I invite Cha to, to, to play with us. The earth is our mother, we must take care of her. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. Hey, younger. Hey, younger. Oh, younger. Hey, young, young. Hey, younger. Oh, younger. Hey, young, young. The sky. The sky is our father. We must take care of him. The sky is our father. We must take care of him. Hey, younger. Hey, younger, ho, oh, younger, hey, young, young. Hey, younger, ho, oh, younger, hey, young. The sea, the sea is our ancestor. We must take care of them. The sea is our ancestor. We must take care of them. Hey, younger. Hey, younger, ho, oh, younger, hey, young, young. Hey, younger, ho, oh, younger, hey, young. The forest, forest is our cousin. We must take care of them. The forest is our cousin. We must take care of them. Hey, younger. Hey, younger, ho, oh, younger, hey, young, young. Hey, younger, ho, oh, younger, hey. The earth. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. Hey, younger. Hey, younger. Oh, younger. Hey, young, young. Hey, younger. Oh, younger. One more time. The earth. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. The earth is our mother. We must take care of her. Hey, younger. Hey, younger. Oh, younger. Hey, young, young. Hey, younger. Oh, younger. Hey, young, young. Wonderful. I invite the women to remain in place right where you are. Face center. Everyone can face toward the men of the choir who are now receiving the ceremonial face paint. Excellent. <clears throat> this is a blessing. This is a blessing that the that Atabe is giving life to all, Yokahu. All, all these women manifest Atabe today. They're all Atabe. And let us let us applaud Atabe and Yokahu. Yes. Woo. You may you may go back to your seats.
We are children of earth, our bodies of Mother Earth, our souls of divine light. We walk between the worlds as co-creators of the universe in this instant of eternity. And finally, I invite you to join us in our closing song. Um, I don't think you need the words. I'm going to give them to you right now. If you need to look at them, they're in the, your order of service. One more time, let me ask you to stand. <clears throat> and the words are, Oh, so is life. 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 from the fire living in the fire go back to the fire turn the world around we come from the water living in the water go back to the water turn the world around we come from the mountain living on the mountain go back to the mountain turn the world around oh so is life the mountain fire make the sunlight turn the world around we are of the spirit truly of the spirit only can the spirit turn the world around Whoa. today uh, on his